In this tutorial, I'm going to be going through how to debug MATLAB code. So I've got over here a whole bunch of code that's prone with errors, right? So to give you an idea, let me let me run through this, right? So change folder. Yep. Okay. So I get my first error. Um, right. So this not I'm not going to be showing you what the errors are. Well, I will, but it's more that how do I debug this? So let's step through this. The first thing, the most important thing is breakpoint so let me let me set a breakpoint so up till here I'm f pretty confident it's correct so let me run up until that point now um, okay so this minimized but the under the debug there's a step function which is really useful um, if there's a function we can use step in but anyway let's not focus on that for now so let's step through this all right uh, step again all right so it's fine up until then now here's here's where the issue is. Uh, now I said add this random number b the for the first index along with the previous index. Now it won't work because i is one and it's trying to uh, it's trying to index a zeroth one. But you know you can't do that in MATLAB at least, so you can't do a zero, right? So a zero it has to be a one at least. Right, so what we're going to do from here is I'm going to put an if statement to fix this. So if i is greater than 1, then I can do this operation, but otherwise leave it as is. And then we'll continue with this one. Uh, yeah, okay, so I don't want to bother with that one. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. So I'm pretty certain it will work now up until this point. So let's let's run this. Okay, yep, it ran up until then. Now I should be two this time. So yeah, that is, that this is another useful thing. When you ho ho just how 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 anyway, you know what I'm saying. You can see what the value of that thing is. So right now i is two, and even with these big vectors, you can sometimes see how it says hundred by one. Sometimes you can see the first couple of values. Sometimes you don't, depending on how big it is. Uh, but for a vector, you sh you should be ab able to see it. Um, and yeah, so a currently is just zero. So now let's step through this one. So step and hey, it worked. So let's let's keep going. Let's keep stepping through this. Uh oh. Okay. No, that that was fine. Uh, this one isn't going to run, and so on. So you can keep stepping through this. Let, so let me just press continue because I don't want to keep stepping through this entire thing. So let's run. Get rid of the breakpoint because it's going to keep stopping there every single time. Now let's see if it ran. No, it didn't. There was another error on line 13 this time. So again, I'm doing these random operations just to show you what what can possibly go wrong. Now it's saying over here it's running. It's coming. It's coming into a problem over here when um, when i is 25. It's trying to multiply this and it won't work. So let's let's try and see what's going on. So right now. Uh, let me just run this selection. So if you can, s if you select an area and press F9, it will do that. It'll run run it. So it's saying column. So it's a row vector. Okay. So A right now is a row vector, and I'm trying to multiply by itself. Now this matrix addition, the rule is that you can't. If you want to do this properly, you need to transpose it. Um, so if I put in a little transpose operation over here, th now it will work. But Actually, let me let me just show you something else. So this is kind of important. Um, now, so far, what I've done is I set a breakpoint, and it's really going to be annoying if I is if this is going to stop every single iteration of I. I know for most of this it'll work, except for the twenty-fifth one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to s set a condition. So I go set modify condition when you right-click it. All right. So set the break. So put the breakpoint first and then right click on the breakpoint and you get this one. And over here I'm going to say i is equal to, so double equal sign, 25. So now it will become yellow and it will only stop in the 25th iteration. So let me run this again. And if I just uh, browse over i, you can see it's just 25 now. So now I can step through this. And I can find, hey, this is my error over here. Let me save it. Okay, so unfortunately, when you save it, you do have to start all over again. So let me run it. Uh, debug step step, and hey, it worked. All right. So if I 
if I let this continue, okay, so you don't want to stop there just because you've been debugging, it ran all the way through. Um, also, okay, I probably should have shown you these values things over here. So there's a workspace thing where you can actually see the values. As I know it's really tiny for you, but um, that's not what I'm trying to... The point is you can see the values and check, say, hey, that's not the value I expected. It should be bigger or smaller and so on. Right, so the workspace is useful as well. Another th uh, last thing that I find useful is plotting these values. So if I plot, say, B, all right, so ag again, nothing useful to show you this but just to give you another tool to debug plotting these values instead of actually looking at them is I find quite useful um, that's it for now so if you have any questions or comments please let me know please like and subscribe and thanks for watching